In today's video, we are tackling a very specific problem regarding your website performance. This problem is how too many DNS lookups can slow down the loading of your pages. So in today's video, we're going to explain the problem to you, show you how to reduce it, and even give you some practical tips to optimize your DNS as well. So make sure to stick around and watch the whole video. Now, DNS or domain name servers are the foundation of the World Wide Web. A DNS lookup is the process of finding the correct IP address for a given website URL. With Referring to your PageSpeed Insights, DNS lookup is associated with the message to reduce initial server response time. See, the time it takes for a server to receive the request depends on a few things. The time it takes to perform a DNS lookup, the speed of the user's network, the distance to the server, and any interruptions in the connection. So let's first break down how a DNS lookup works. When you visit a website, your browser discovers all the resources that necessitate a DNS query. After that, it then waits for the lookup to complete before downloading any resources, which means means the greater the number of lookups that a website requires, the longer it takes the browser to produce its pages. Now, in terms of how fast this should actually happen, a good DNS lookup response time is roughly 40 milliseconds. But it's worth noting that every website is unique, so this isn't a one-size-fits-all timetable. Now, since PageSpeed Insights won't show us what's causing the problem, we need to use other tools to identify the problems themselves. Now, in this article we have written on the subject, we detail the process with using three tools. Pingdom, GT metrics and web page test. For the sake of this video, we will give an example using web page test, as it provides the most straightforward way to read the data. The first step here is to insert your URL and run a test. Once the test is completed, go to view and select details. And what you should notice is they give you a short overview of your request information where you may arrange it by the fastest response time by clicking the DNS lookup column. Doing this will make it much easier to see what the culprit is behind your slow DNS lookup. Now that you know how to figure that out, let's transition to some solutions that you can implement to reduce DNS lookups. Number one is to use a fast DNS provider or a CDN. DNS providing is just like hosting. While several providers are available, not all of them work the exact same. So if you find a more reliable DNS provider, you can switch to them to reduce your DNS lookups. You can check provider's speed by using the following tools, DNS Perf, DNS Speed Benchmark, or DNS Speed Test. Alternatively, if you wanna see how well your current DNS provider performs, you can use DNS Speed Benchmark to see which area of the world it serves best. And as we mentioned, you can also reduce DNS lookups by using a reliable content delivery network or a CDN. A CDN uses a cluster of high performance servers rather than just one like what's usually available with the typical hosting plan. Now for a CDN, we'd recommend using Rocket CDN. Number two is to take advantage of DNS caching. Caching can be used to minimize DNS lookups since fewer lookups are required for each subsequent page load. The DNS cache acts as storage, holding the host name for a set amount of time. So when a browser requests the element, the cache provides the host name instead of requiring a DNS lookup. Now, due to the advanced nature of the solution, we'd recommend that you visit the article in the description to see how you can fully implement the solution as it can be quite technical. Number three is by setting up DNS prefetching. You can reduce latency by setting DNS lookups to perform in the background with DNS prefetching. Prefetching enables browsers to perform DNS lookups in the background. And then the browser will request prefetch elements as a user reads one web page. You can set this for assets such as Google Analytics, Font Awesome, Google Fonts, and others. So to enable DNS prefetching on your WordPress site, go ahead and add the following code to the header of your page files. What's important here is don't forget to replace asset1.com and asset2.com with the appropriate URLs. And you can repeat the last line as needed. And it's important to note for a way easier solution, our plugin WP Rocket has this feature as well. Tip number four is to enable Keep Alive. This means keeping the connection between a server and browser consistently active to load more asset files at one time. Without it, resource files are all loaded as separate requests, even though there are multiple resources resources included in a single domain. For example, you may have one asset from website1.com and then three resources from website2.com, which will be collectively four DNS requests. But with Keep Alive enabled, those same resources would be loaded as only two total requests. Now, all major browsers support Keep Alive, and it's enabled by default in most cases. Number five is to reduce the number of host names. What you'll need to do is run your website through a speed test like Google PageSpeed Insights. The result then will show a list 
list of host names and assets that trigger a DNS request. For instance, external requests for graphics like each social icon button require a DNS lookup. Therefore, while auditing, look out to see if these resources are essential to your website. Number six is locally host third-party resources. If your host name's audit reveals that you still have several external resources, try hosting the resources locally instead. Local hosting also allows for additional control over caching and the delivery of these resources and the elimination of the DNS search phase. However, if you receive requests for constantly updated scripts such as font libraries, hosting them locally may not be ideal. So three of the main culprits for this are as follows. Third-party fonts, Google Analytics, and videos. To fix third-party fonts, we have a whole article on how to locally host fonts, which I'll leave linked below. And to dramatically help video loading time, try using a caching plugin. By using WP Rocket, it can grab the YouTube thumbnail as the preview image, and it will allow you to lazy load images and videos. Number seven is to defer the loading of JavaScript. So with deferring JavaScript, it will not necessarily speed up DNS lookups, but it will optimize your above the fold content. As a result, users will notice that your website is loading faster, which improves perceived performance. And it's also important to note that with our plugin, it also allows you to quickly defer and delay JavaScript loading. However, it is important to note that you must go through all of the running JavaScripts and identify the JavaScript ones that you do not want to delay. This is due to the fact that some JavaScript is required to render material above the fold. Number eight is to avoid plugins that are known for DNS lookups. These would be plugins like Hotjar, Lead Pages, and Live Chats. These plugins eventually result in additional DNS lookups that are typically unfixable. So then how do you determine if these plugins should stay on your website or if they should go? Well, do you worry more about how the tools are used or do you worry more about how quickly your website loads? Now, if you want to identify what plugins may be slowing down your website, the Plugin Query Monitor is a great debugging tool. With in this plugin, you can see the load time for each plugin that you have installed. Now, there are other plugins that can do the exact same thing, but Query Monitor provides you the most easy to understand results. Number nine is to reduce DNS lookups by using WordPress plugins. While manual approaches are recommended for reducing more effective DNS lookups, various WordPress plugins are also available to assist you to minimize DNS lookups more effectively. Especially if you're not too website savvy and not too familiar with some of these technicalities, these plugins will be a lifesaver. However, do note that plugins will not be able to cover all elements of the DNS lookup reduction, but they can make some stages quicker and more automated, such as CDN hosting and browser caching. And if you haven't guessed, a plugin that can help you do that is our plugin, WP Rocket. Now, our plugin won't directly reduce DNS lookups in some cases, but it complements the strategies above since it helps speed up page load times dramatically. Here are some of the options that we give to you within our plugin. Remove unused CSS. Enable browser caching. Use DNS prefetching. Defer JavaScript and delay JavaScript execution. And automatically enable more speed optimizations such as optimize Google fonts. So there you have it. Reducing your DNS lookups is important in optimizing your site's performance. So if this video has helped you, go ahead and make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. And while you're here, how much do you know about the core web vitals? If you don't know much about them, go ahead and watch the video that we made here. Goodbye and have a good day.